Hey guys, what's up? It's iJevin. How is everybody doing? Welcome back to another episode of iJevin Plays Minecraft. I hope you guys are all having a good day. Guys, I have been busy strip mining like crazy. Look at all the diamonds I've found. 43 so far. I'm doing pretty good, man. I'm not. I'm doing pretty good. Well, it's almost time to do another enchantment too, which is good. Uh, anyways, guys, so I hope you guys are all, like I said, I hope you guys are all having a good day. And one thing I noticed with this world is that we are slowly running out of food, which is not good. And then I have this idea for kind of like a, a cow cooker. And so I kind of want to try that now. Uh, so my game plan is, is first we've got to get some sort of weed farm going. There's just no doubt about that. So let me, let me grab a couple pieces of iron here. We have way more, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, voice crack. We have way more iron and gold right there. Grab this and let's make a hoe. There we go. And let's grab whatever bone meal we have. Oh, we have plenty of bone meal. There we go. And so for our for our farm over here, I think we're just going to put it uh, in a valley. And I've always liked the idea of putting a farm in a valley. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it, but like this really, oh man, it really doesn't really work out. I mean, like right here could be perfect, actually. Whoa, mouse, you're going crazy, man. You're going crazy. Anyways, guys, so while I uh, do this real fast, I just want to uh, get the question of the day and the Gemineer Challenge out of the way. Last episode, we set the Gemineer Challenge for 950 likes, and we were super close. Eventually, it's going to lower it to 900 this time, guys. Um, and I know the Gemineers can do it because, well, you're the Gemineers, and Gemineers rock, dude. So, yeah, bro. No, uh, anyways, also, uh, question of the day is, we're working on food right now, so what is your favorite food in Minecraft? I've always kind of been curious about what other people like. I typically tend to go for the steak because it gives, you know, sort of the most saturation. Now, there is other stuff that gives good saturation as well, something like carrots and things like that, but I can definitely go further out. Um... But I know, I know some people strictly eat, like, golden carrots, which is just quite insane. I mean, that's a lot of carrots and a lot of gold. <laughs> uh, let's see, that's two, three, four, something like that'll work. And then let me make this one El Natural. <laughs> it's gotta be El Natural, guys. Uh, four... Four. There we go. Now let's plant, and I'll probably grow these a bunch just so I can get a bunch of initial wheat. Uh, so that way we can breed our cows. There's a ton of cows around here, fortunately, which makes this lucky for us because when we uh, start our our system here, um, we can actually just put all those cows into there and make it super easy to start breeding. So I'm just gonna grow all of these real fast. Pick all of you up, and I'm just trying to get more seeds, really, but, uh, yeah, so my idea for this machine is to have a normal cow farm, uh, and what I mean by normal cow farm is to just have a pen, and then that pen will, um, you know, have a certain, like, maybe a redstone device to where it just flushes the baby cows into a hole somewhere, um, and then once those baby cows get grown up, they'll die from like a lava blade or something and they'll be put into a hopper and then be fed directly to us. Alright guys, so uh, before we actually start building this, I've got to do a little bit of digging. I want my main output chest to be right here. I want to be able to walk up and just get my cow food or my food, you know, from my cow. Right here we'll have signs or something just to let you know this is where our main output, this is where leather and meat will go. Uh, so basically we have to build this backwards and what I mean by that is we'll go one block backwards and then we'll dig straight up and as you can see we're outside so this really does sort of work out for us because it gives us pretty much all the world and the, the room and the world to work with. Um, so na next up we would just need to put a system of hoppers in right here. Um, and this actually kind of works perfectly. Uh, you know what let me go ahead and grab some hoppers and we'll just start working on this right now. Um, Okay, I'm trying to think about how many we might need. I don't know if I have any crafted. None in there. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the iron from over here. And do I have any chests? I have, I have trap chests. There's regular 19 regular chests. That'll work. That's what will work. Okay, there's some hoppers. Let me grab those. 
So uh, we will put our, this will be our output chest right here. And then let's go back here and do it. Okay. And uh, we can, you know what, we can, to save hoppers, we can either, we can obviously put two in here. Um, but we really don't need to is the thing. But this is where our baby cows will land. And then what I'm thinking is, we'll, oh, we can't dig into the wall there. Hmm, that is an issue. Okay, well, I guess we could have, uh, I guess I could terraform the mountain a little bit more. And fill this in some to where I have enough to put lava blades on each side of this. So, um, when they fall down, maybe... You know what? You know what? That I don't know if that's going to work or not. Because if they fall down and hit the lava blade first, they might die. So, maybe we'll just make it to where... Uh, we'll either make that platform bigger and they might just walk into it when they get older or something. I don't know. We'll make this work. All right, guys, so just kind of working on this idea some. This is what I've built up so far. Uh, I'm building it out of dirt because I want to terraform the earth, the, the, the mountain, after I finish it and then put the cow farm at the top of this. So I'm going with an old-school lava blade because I want this to sort of be automatic. Now, I, I understand that I can sort of, you know, put the, the trip wires in here and make it shoot out maybe uh, like a flint and steel. But I think I want to stick with this and see how it works first. So the baby cows will fall into the hole. When the baby cows grow up, they will hit the lava blade, catch on fire. And from there, they will die, go into the dispensers, and then go into our chest. So the game plan here is to have a platform a couple blocks above this built into the mountain. And from there, we will be able to breed our cows. And then once we feel that we have enough babies... Uh, we will hit like a button that'll dispense some water and then the water will um, push our cows, uh, the baby cows, into the hole and go from there. So uh, next up I think I'm going to go ahead and build the platform and get the cows in there and then maybe we'll do a test or two. Also guys, I should, I should let you know that this video is going to go up a little bit later than normal. Uh, you're watching it, it'll be at 3 p.m. instead of 1. I've decided to do this because of school. Yesterday's video literally had nobody on it at 1 p.m. So I'm pushing uh, this upload back, and if 3 p.m. is better than the 1 p.m. upload, um, it'll be a two-hour difference in videos. But all of my videos will adjust to that, that time schedule. So just wanted to let you know. Anyways, back to the game. All right, guys. So I got the terraforming done. That it honestly wasn't too bad. Uh, I actually thoroughly enjoy terraforming. Um, I was also considering putting a lake down here, and that's something that I think I'm gonna mess with right now. Actually, I've got a little bit of dirt left over, and I can sort of just fill this in, something like that, and then there'd be perfect spot for a lake right here. Uh, all right, let's grab some water. I don't know. I one of my like one of my seriously favorite things to do in Minecraft is to terraform. I don't know what it is about building something back up and like you know maybe putting a mechanical device or something into a project and then like you know messing with that project later on and then it being like, wow, that's pretty cool looking. Yeah, I, I just I love doing that. It's one of my favorite things. Um, this is probably going to be difficult because of the. Little river right there. I should probably get some ice or something. It would have been probably a zillion times easier. But we're almost there now. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, well, never mind. It's almost done now. Water, please. I love water. <laughs> I am a huge fan of ice water, if you don't know this by now. Uh, if you watch my streams, we even have like a subscriber emote for the ice water. <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> And we just got to fill that side in over there. There we go. Yeah, that's not a little bad lake, though. Uh, this can be fixed. There we go. And, yeah, I like that a lot, actually. This uh, It actually looks kind of natural. So my platform idea for the actual cows will be sitting up top here. And um, I left the, the gap open up here to fall down right here. And uh, so it'll probably just sit right maybe a block or two above this and it'll come out and have all the good stuff ready. All right, guys, time for the first test. I was going to use dispensers. I'm kind of hoping that the babies will be able to push through. Sounds like it's working to me. Huh. 
how many cows are down there still? I don't see a lot of babies. I see one there. There's that guy. Yeah, it looks like most of them fell down. I'm using a different strategy, so... Okay. By the way, this thing is a fire hazard, man. It's burned down on me twice. <laughs> I had to rebuild it. Uh, I like the platform so far. I might change it. I have dispensers in there right now. Uh, that might be changed as well. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to go sleep real fast and then literally just like just waiting on our cows to uh, grow up now and we'll see how that does. So uh, I might just like go AFK or something for a little while and wait for them to grow and see how this machine does. All right, guys. So I just wanted to show you something. <laughs> Are you ready? Wee! I love this thing so much. This is where I've been strip mining for those of you who have wondered what I how I've been finding all my diamonds. Uh, this is the strip mine we made last time, and this tunnel goes on for quite a long ways. Um, I've decided that each tunnel I do, I'm just going to literally mine until I can't mine anymore. I would say that's probably close to a good thousand blocks long, so I just I had to show you my bouncy pad. I'm not sure why I have this here, though. Maybe we don't Maybe we don't need that there. Anyways, I just wanted to show you that. All right, guys, so I finally got 33 XP. I don't... Do I have an anvil? I do have an anvil. Let's grab our anvil. And I'm going to put that up here. And let's grab our diamonds. I'm just going to see how much it's going to cost to repair our boots. Because I would rather not craft new ones. But I don't want to waste a bunch of XP. It's only 1 XP. It's not bad. Alright, and then so we've got boots. And we can do 2 enchantments. So let's go ahead. Chest piece and leggings. There we go. And we'll put these back. Alright, so I've got to get one more level of XP now. Uh, let's go through here. Uh, Alright, let's kill this gang. Wow, there is like no mobs out here. I, I, I literally brought a ton of cows over here. So they might have respawned by now because it's been quite a while. So let's see if there's any other cows. I kill you too. I literally want all your XP. How was that the first time I've gotten cow tipper? I've killed like 97 cows. Dude, there's so many cows over here. Holy crap. Hey, get back here. Wow, this is going to take forever. All right, I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys. So what I'm thinking I might do with this thing is put dispensers up there and try to feed those guys wheat from that. I'm not sure if it'll work like that, though. Oh, we got one dying. Me like. Me like. Give me your food. Okay, well, it's working. It's just very, very slow. That guy still needs to walk into it. Looks like there's a bigger one up there still. How is he not walking into that? Doesn't it sound like more is dying? Or maybe that's just the babies. Huh. Anyways, enchant time. Let's do some enchantments, man. There we go. Start off with the chest piece. Fire protection. Fire protection. What? Oh, I, pu I put the boots on! No! I didn't mean to. Okay. I guess, there we go. Protection, unbreak. Whew, excuse me. What was I thinking I could do three pieces of armor for? I can't do three pieces of armor. Both are protection three. Protection three, unbreaking three. I'll take both of them. There we go. I don't know what I was thinking, man. I'm losing my mind or something. Literally all those cows just grew up at once. <laughs> oh my god. 31 pieces of meat. That worked out pretty well. Oh my god. Like, every, like I'm just sitting here and all of a sudden all I hear is, mm, 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 you know, all the cows are dying. I'm like, what the heck? Um, okay, one thing I want to do real fast is I want to try to get a horse. Uh, one thing we haven't done in this world yet is just look at the surroundings of the world. Where the heck did I put the horse stuff at? Um, so I just want to do a little bit of exploring in this world and see what else we got. Like, is there a... Because for future plans here, I can't keep stealing, like... I, I have no glass, you know. I need glass. I'm a huge fan of glass. And, uh, so for the future, I would love to have some glass. And so is there a desert around here? I don't remember ever seeing a desert. 
Um, wasn't there like a mesa around here too? Because I would definitely love to start harvesting that. I don't know that I'll uh, I'll do the outside of it, but I can definitely do the inside of it. And I swear to God, I thought that there was horses over here. I remember seeing them. I guess I'm going insane. I thought exploring might be a little bit easier if there was um, a horse or two. Yeah, I'm almost certain that I picked this seed because of the mesa. Um, oh, I thought there was a horse, but I guess not. Well, that makes uh, exploring a little bit more tough, because I, I moving on the horse is a little bit easier, obviously, but... Huh. <laughs> okay, guys, so unfortunately I'm going to have to end this video uh, a little bit early. I've got a bunch of stuff i got to do. So, guys, Miss I. Jevin is graduating from her school today. And that is why I have to end early, because I've got a lot of prep to do. We're having a party tonight for her, and it's a surprise. Not exactly. Don't tell her, though. I promise if you tell her, I will stab you. <laughs> Just joking. Uh, but, you know, she actually knows about the party, and so I've got a lot of prep to do. Uh, the future of this world is looking very good right now, guys. I want to start building into this mountain soon. Um... I'm not going to kind of play that game to where I want to do something different. I'm going to do what I'm best at, and that is just building inside of caves. Um, I just want to have fun with it, you know? So uh, here soon we're going to actually start building an actual base. Not a home, a base, because homes are useless in Minecraft, and I will never, ever build just a basic house. Uh, it's always got to have some sort of use. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so don't forget about the Jevenator Challenge and the question of the day, and I hope you guys all have a great day. This is iJevin. Peace out. Three, two, one. All right, guys. So what I'm thinking, I might do this thing. Put these switches up here and try to beat those guys. I'm not sure if it'll work like that.